Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In my last video I gave full review of the Lookbouse Mesh Generator, that is a standalone Windows uh, software. And in that video I showed that I only exclusively export my mazes as SVG files. And I also show what I do with them in Adobe Illustrator. Or better yet, I uh, showed a couple of uh, images. And I knew when I was editing that video, people are going to ask how am I doing this. So now I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the mazes I get from Lookbouse Maze Generator. So the maze that you see now on the screen, that is generic maze. You have a lot of uh, even free tools online that can give you this, but sometimes not in SVG, it will give you PNG. So it's important that you need to have SVG file. Now, if you don't want to get a maze generator, mm -hmm. you can uh, download a full set of my mazes from Creative Fabrica. The link is down below in the description and you can play with them. Now, let's try to see what we can do with this. Now, we have two options. You can go in two directions. I presume that you are coming to my channel from the KDP universe and that's why you are here. But you have two directions. You can go black and white, black ink white paper, or you can go to colorful activity pages and uh, teachers printables in that direction. So first I'm going to show you some couple of easy ways how you can upgrade uh, this maze that you see right now on your screen and still keep it in the black and white. So it will still be good to be printed in black and white. So let's click on the any of the walls. So click on the any of the parts here and go to select same, same stroke color. Because the reason why I'm doing this is because I have arrows. I don't want him to pick the arrows for the uh, distortion I'm going to do. Now you have all the wall of the maze selected. Go to effect and go to warp and click on arc. It doesn't matter which one, click on any one because now you're going to have a drop menu. And you see what I have here. I can create like a C illusion wave and I can put maybe a fish here and say uh, maybe help the fish reach the other end, reach the island, reach the food or something. So you can have a story behind the maze and I believe you can agree this one is automatically better by 10, 20, maybe even 100% than this one. So this one and you can also do this. You can make it vertical. You can play with the settings. You can also try to see what else is going to be good. Okay, that is the first option. Second option, and for the second option, first thing that you need to do is you need to group them. So you need to group everything, group all of this. And once everything is grouped, go to Effect, and now go to Distort. And now we're going to select the second one, Pucker and Bloat. And let's see what this is going to do. So this one is going to create this kind of funky illusion. Let's see the next one. Oh, I like this one. I believe if you go to my Creative Fabrica store, you will see this one as well. I see. And I actually made the book and my book was help the balloon uh, get to uh, the circus or to the kid or something like that uh, safely without being punctured. So the the goal is to uh, guide the balloon in this spiky maze to be safe. So that is uh, creating a maze with a story. If you just run generator, create three billions of mazes and just stick them in the book and put it out there, yes, out of three billions of maze books that you put out there, maybe you're going to get sale for one. Maybe everybody on the entire planet are going to buy any single book that you make like that. Yes, that's a possibility. But to me personally, and you can also share your opinion in the comments, I think something like this is going to sell much easier than uh, this. It is my opinion. It is my opinion. You can share your opinion down below in the comments. So for me, where did I work? Let's go back. Effect, distort, roughen. For me, I believe when I did this to my maze, it had greater chances of uh, selling because I had a story. I added uh, something to it. It's not just, okay, take a pencil and draw a line and reach the other end. It was actually 
an uh, uh, a task for a child okay you have a balloon and now this balloon needs to reach the end without being punctured can you help him and that was the that one and i believe um, this one does nothing what else can we do zigzag eh, this one this one is also interesting so you can play around with the setting eh, this one this one this one this one where is it and eh, this one also i made also this one you see this one for the balloon so help the balloon so instead of arrows i had a balloon here help the balloon so it's it kind of I don't know if you are a parent maybe you are going to be able to comprehend this but uh, this gives a child some meaning behind what he's doing i'm not just drawing a line because mommy buy me bought me this book i'm uh, actually helping this funny balloon come to the circus safely or come to the other end of the maze safely so something like that but this is just me i really want to hear your opinion about what i'm doing here so that was it when it comes to the black and white option let's go to the color let's go to a little more advanced now if you know how to draw in illustrator draw a couple of blobs blobs and put them in some color it doesn't matter just a couple of blobs but if you don't know how to draw let's start with a simple shape click on the rectangle tool and go to ellipse and draw a circle draw a circle and then draw another circle and now change the color of that one to a lighter color or you can go opposite you can go darker lighter it doesn't really matter we are just doing this as an example and now that you have this select both of these and go to window go to brushes and now click on this tiny plus mark here so plus and click on the second on the menu this one and click OK name it I'm going to say green eye and now for these settings you can play you can play you can always go back and change so let's say I want size to be random between little bit larger and little bit smaller I want spacing to be fixed but I want it to be more closer to one another because I want uh, wall of the maze to be connected and I want rotation to be random and rotation relative to the path I want it to be relative to the line not to the page and click OK and now that brush is going to appear in your brush selection click on the path select same stroke color so to select all the walls and now pick the brush you just created pick on the, click on that brush and let's reduce the stroke go to window go to stroke and let's make it 0 0.5 and that's it you see I created a completely different uh, maze now I can make can you, how many eyes are going to look at you while you are passing the maze or something like that or I don't know basically what I do is I create a story it's not just a block of uh, 1000 mazes I create a story every book I make uh, has a story behind when I purchased Maze Generator, it was never my intent to just uh, publish uh, maze after maze after maze books. It was to make something out of them. So let's go back. Let's undo this. And let's go what else I have in my brushes. So for example, for St. Patrick's Day, I made this. And you see how big it is? It's not an issue. Just go to Stroke. Then once again, change the Stroke to... 0 0.5 maybe even smaller let's go 0 0.3 yeah that looks nice so this is the maze i created for saint patrick's day you see i use the same maze i just changed the brush so i'm going to show you for valentine's day you see hearts so you can put easter egg you can draw easter eggs here you can do anything you can do flowers you can i mean it's a brush let's try this one let's try making this one into brush so select window brushes it's already active plus scatter okay make the adjustments blob blob green green blob size random 
uh, rotation random and spacing is a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, once again, go to the path, select. The re only reason why I have to do this is because I have arrows. I don't want brush to be applied to the arrow. Stroke color. And now the new one that I just created. And now it looks like nothing because the I'm going to double click on it to change it. So let's see what can I change. I can change the spacing to be even smaller. And rotation is good. Everything is good. And size is I didn't I didn't pick the size to be different. So let's go this one. Okay. Apply to stroke. Okay. And now we need to change the stroke. And let's change that to one. Let's see. Am I going to get? Yes. Uh, this is now, for example, grass. And you see what did I do? Created. I had just a couple of green blobs and now it looks like a grass. And you can put a, a ladybug here and a flower here or a bee who help the bee reach the the flower help the bee uh, reach the the honeycomb or something so I, i'm not going to repeat myself i believe it's clear what i'm doing here uh, and that's it make anything you can draw any shape turn it into a brush apply the brush on uh, to the wall of the maze and that is how you make unique mazes using the SVG. So that is why when you are getting uh, a maze generator, it is important that it exports as SVG. If it exports in PNG, that, that what you see is what you get. But if it exports in SVG, that means you can do things like this. And that is how I create my mazes that I publish on Creative Fabrica and my other uh, design stores and this is how I make mazes for my clients in uh, uh, Fiverr because as you see all I have to do is maybe change this in this direction and I can have a unique so every client I have gets completely new maze I'm not going to give him this I'm going to change this blob a little bit I'm going to move it here it takes just a couple of clicks to make a new, to turn this into a different brush. So click here, click here, I make a new blob. And in a matter of five seconds, I have a completely different blob that I can use to make a new maze. And my client gets unique maze for her or his book. And then uh, what she can do is, for example, in most cases, I give them just the mazes. That is the cheapest option. I give them just the mazes. I don't include arrows, so I delete arrows. So I give them this and now what they can do with this is they can put this in Canva and inside Canva they can put a ladybug here, something here and then that is it. Then go to the next maze, put something here, something here. So every page, so in matter of like one hour, two hours, you can have a high quality maze book that is unique, that is yours, that is different from everything that is on the market. And um, that is just how I do things. If you have a comment about the way I do my things, leave it down below. If you have any more questions, I believe this is not uh, rocket science here. I believe this is quite straightforward. You make, uh, you make this, let's see, you make this white, you make this uh, red, ah, draw something select go to window activate brushes click on plus second option down below okay change with the numbers play with the numbers click on the maze select same stroke color and apply your brush and now we cannot see it because it's white but if i make let's make it bigger stroke Stroke is small. Let's go five. Let's see what's going to happen. Ooh. Five. Okay. And let's create rectangle. Let's make it black. And let's put it rather than object arrange center back. Ah, you see this one. 
can you pass with all the eyes looking at you? That's also, if you go to my creative fabric, uh, I know, I know this is like me being silly, but <laughs> I actually love the googly eyes. I made the googly eyes mazes. You have them in creative fabric. I can see that as well. And this is how I created the googly eyes mazes. I just made an eye and then I made it into a brush. And that is how googly eyes mazes were created. So, I mean, yeah, the, what, well, how they say the universe is your oyster or something like that. Uh, if you have any questions, if what I just shown here was too fast or not good enough, share it below. I can make it slower. I can go even uh, more in details. I can go uh, how, do, how I made this blob. I can even do that if you really want it, how, how I draw this blob. So um, how to draw a blob. That's an also uh, an option for, for a video if you really want it. Uh, I mean, anything is possible when we have YouTube and Internet. Anyway, OK, I have a lot of things to do. Today uh, is a day when I make a new product for my Creative Fabrica store. So I have to get work on that. Uh, I'll see you in the comments. Bye. Ciao. Goodbye.